Hi, I had a question about how to center a cut in a 12x12 12 12 page when you're cutting on the Cricut Explorer. So in other words, how to center it on the mat. And so I want to show you how to do that. It's an easy trick and it's useful for some other things too. So let's say I've got a 10x10 10 10 shape that I want to make into a frame outline. So I want it centered on my 12x12 12 12 sheet of paper. If I just click Go, you'll see that it defaults to the upper left. And I can I can move this with my mouse and get this pretty close to centered, but I'm going to show you a trick to, to let the computer do that for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a square and I'm going to go to my Edit tab and I'm going to change this square to 11.5 by 11.5 and since it's locked I only have to change one. And then I'm going to go to the Layers tab and I'm going to change this square to right. Right, and then I'm going to select both of these things. I'm using shift click here. And I'm going to go to align center. So that now you can see I have the frame shape aligned in my square. Now here's the trick. I'm going to click off of that and then I'm going to click back on to where I've just got the square and I'm going to use the lower right hand handle only and I'm going to decrease the size of this. And I can make any size I want, but what's important is I don't move the position of the square. It has to be fixed in that upper left. So I can make it any size I want, but I don't want to move it. So once I've done that, I select both of these and I attach. Now when we go to the mat, you'll see that this shape is perfectly centered. Now, we have this little extra square here, it's set to right. And the only thing we need to do there is just take the pen out. And that means that when it goes to run, it will just cut that square, this fancy frame out of the center of our 12 by 12 page. And that's all there is to it. Now, this technique is, is helpful for some other things too. For instance, I made a template here for Avery business card uh, labels or Avery business card layout. And for that, I'm going to want it to use an, to center on an 8.5 by 11 page. So I'm going to take my make a square and instead of 11.5 uh, by 11.5, I'm going to subtract 0.5 from each measurement. So 8.5 minus a half is 8 for the width and 8.5 and by 11, so 11 minus a half is 10.5. And so there's my size, and again I'm going to turn this to right. And this is already grouped, so I'm going to select both, both of these by shift clicking and go to Align, Center, and then I can either leave this like this or I can do the same trick where we click off, click back on, and then just position this. So now if I want to lay out different things in the label, let's say I want to uh, add text and uh, I want it to show up on my Avery label in the right position. So then again I'm going to take all everything and attach. Now I could take this this part with the labels out but I'm going to leave it in there just to show you. And then when we go to the mat if you were to load a sheet of Avery label stock aligned with this upper left corner then your writing would cut out right in the middle of, of this, just like we've laid it out. So this gives you a way to position things with respect to a page on your mat or a specific position on your mat. It's a way to work around the paper saving mode that Cricut Design Space does by default. And uh, it's just a, an easy way to, um, to know where things are going to line up and to let the computer do the math for you so you don't have to, to worry about 
dragging it. It's also a way to be consistent from time to time because if you start moving things around on this, you have no measurements or no way to know exactly where it's going to go. Whereas if you use the technique where you put this extra square in here, then it's going to be very consistent. It's going to be predictable and it'll work from time to time. So I hope that's been helpful to you and I really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.